All right, so before we get started in this course, before we build anything out, there are some things that I like to point out and some advice and tips that I like to give. The biggest advice that I can give to you is to keep effective notes. Now I'm going to show you kind of how I keep my notes and what tools I use. In this first part, I just want to walk you through my notebook. I'm going to show you some different notebooks. I'm going to show you one of my notebooks. I'm going to show you another pen testers notebook uh, that has been released out to the public and kind of give you an idea as to what these notebooks look like. So let's open up my note keeping tool of choice, which is KeepNote. So here is KeepNote. KeepNote is a nice, nice tool. Uh, you could see here that I have a notebook and this notebook in particular is related to Active Directory. So when we come in here, um, I have a main folder essentially, and then I can kind of come through and scroll down. And if you look at my notebook, it's huge. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, so I will take my notebook and this one in particular was for uh, Active Directory courses that I took. So for example, one of the Active Directory courses I took uh, a while ago was on enumeration and I've taken notes on how to enumerate with a tool called Power View. And so I've got my notes in here, different screenshots that I like. Uh, and then there's a different methodology with another tool called AD module. Same thing here. This is, don't worry about the tools that I'm showing you or the syntax that you're seeing here. Worry more about the structure that you're seeing here. So uh, another pen tester, a, a friend of mine has a notebook and he, I guess he started this maybe for the OSCP, but he's ended up building this out into an insane repository, right? So it is, uh, it's really nice to see other people share this kind of information. And I will actually share this with you. So if you go out to GitHub and you go to Joseph Kingstone slash keep note, there is a fantastic G zip here. You just unzip it, you uh, open it with your keep note and it's access to everything that you see here. So if you want a nice, nice notebook, this is out there in the public. I will put this in the references for our our course. So just check the references if you didn't see the link or go ahead and just go to this link. Now there is a note, your Windows Defender, if you're using Windows or your AV may pick up some of this as a virus. There is no virus in here. What we're doing is there are some things in here, like even in my notebook, there are certain tactics uh, that are like bypasses or things that can be entered into PowerShell or other commands that are picked up nowadays by by Windows Defender and other antivirus tools that will show up as being a virus. It is not a virus, I promise you. On top of this, so these are my notebooks, but let's just take a look at something else too. I'm not going to dive into this, but this is an example of a real client that I did. So this shows you kind of the findings that I had and how I organized my notes. And so I'll have like an external an internal assessment and a web app assessment here and all the different findings I had. And then if I come into say one of these and there's a screen at, screenshot I can show you. So SMB signing was disabled. Again, don't worry about it, but it's just a note for me. And then there's a picture in here that says, hey, SMB signing is disabled. I made a nice little picture, just threw it in here. This is for me. And then I go back and I just put a check mark. So when I'm writing my report, I check mark these off as I've written the report or part of the report for it and I know that I'm done with that part of the report. You can also make a, uh, a new notebook. So you can say new notebook and we can just say um, my notes, whatever you wanna call it, right? And this will create a new notebook and all you gotta say is something like, okay, here's my notes. I wanna create a new tab or child page and we'll call this page my first pen test. And you can put notes in here if you want, and then you can create child pages on these. And you can say something like day one, here's what I did on day one. And you can put screenshots in here. All you have to do really is make these your own. Every hacker that is successful in the real world has a notebook because look at these. I mean, just look at the length of this. There is no way that you're going to remember all the commands that are put into these things. And again, you like you see my notebook here. This is one tab in the, this notebook with all the different screenshots and commands and everything that they do. Uh, so highly, highly, highly recommended that you keep good notes because there's no way you're going to remember all this. 
So the better your notebook, the better you are, the easier your engagements will be. Uh, so this is part one of this. Part two, I'm going to show you how to install a couple of these tools. One is really, really cool uh, that I like to use. So let's go ahead and move on to part two and we'll talk about installing some, some cool tools for our note keeping.